So today we're going to be taking a look at a very hyped and very popular summertime fragrance from Mansara. This one is Aoud Lemon Mint. Now this guy's been generating some hype for quite a while and it's one that I tried a while back from a sample and just recently ended up getting a bottle of this one. I do want to let you know this bottle was sent to me by Twisted Lily. They are a great niche fragrance boutique bringing you basically all of the offerings from Mansara, Nishane, Zerzhov, Roja Parfums, the list goes on. Any niche brand you can think of, they're gonna carry it and it's all online. And if you do wanna grab a bottle of lemon mint for yourself or any other niche products, you can use the code CHAOS10 to get 10% off site-wide. It works for everything on their website, even samples too, because they do provide samples of certain things and that code is always active. So make sure if you're shopping over there, use the code CHAOS10, you can grab a bottle of lemon mint or anything else that you can think of. And a lot of times this one is out of stock at other places online so Twisted Lily probably will be your best bet here to pick this one up. I've tried to pick this one up in the past and it's always been out of stock on other discounters and stuff but Twisted Lily does carry this one in stock as of right now. So if you want to grab one and get ready for the spring and summertime now's your chance to do so. We're going to take a look at this one tell you how it smells how it performs when you can wear it and ultimately if I think this one is worth picking up and also how it maybe compares to some other fragrances out there a little bit. We'll get into that later. So let's go ahead and start off with the smell. When you first spray this one on, immediately up top you get lemon, which is no surprise there. Uh, it's a nice, bright, tart, sour lemon. A little bit of orange is coming in with that as well, giving it a bit more of a fresh, kind of citric, bright opening. You get just a bit of a spicy pepper note underneath all of that, and also you start to get immediately a little bit of oud. Now it's not a strong oud, it's a Mansara oud. And I've talked about this before, if you've smelled really any Mansara fragrance, you'll kind of recognize the type of oud that they traditionally use in their fragrances, and when you smell it, you'll kind of smell that you know signature Mansara oud smell in here, and really it just kind of carries that traditional Mansara DNA, uh, just kind of a smell that is uh, common with a lot of their offerings. And I'm telling you this because I don't want the oud to scare you off. Not everyone is a fan of oud and that note does scare people off and I do understand why that would, uh, but I want to let you know that here in this one, the oud is light, it's not too medicinal, it's not too strong, and it is nice and mild and very bearable here. Now as this one settles down on your skin and it starts to work into the mid, you pick up on some almond. It's a nice creamy almond note and that mixes with the lemon very well. Now one thing I want to note that is important, uh, there's no mint in this fragrance. I don't want that to be misleading to you. There's no mint note in here and really for me I don't get uh, really anything that smells like a mint when you first spray this one on. Sure you get some nice citrus, a nice fresh somewhat spicy peppery pop but uh, no mint in here. And really the fragrance isn't all that green either. There are some slight green facets in here from the patchouli that does come in into the mid a little bit, uh, but other than that, not really green, doesn't really have a mint note. So if you're looking for something that is lemon, mint, very citrus heavy, very summertime smelling, this is not gonna be for you. There's a bit more depth going on in here. From opening to dry down, this one smells fantastic. It's always been one that I've really enjoyed and I do understand why this one has been hyped and why it is popular in the community. It's not gonna be everyone's first thought for a summertime fragrance because there is some sweetness in here, but it does work really good, like on a warmer day, maybe in the springtime. Of course, it can be worn in the summertime, but I would limit your sprays and I would also try to keep it centered around being indoors. Going outside when it's very hot and you're wearing this one, it may start to get even more loud and it will project even stronger than what it already does. Now what I found interesting about this fragrance when I was testing it for this review is that when you get into the dry down, and we're talking after a few hours here, so well into the dry down, it started to remind me of another fragrance a little bit. That is this one, Guerlain Lome IDL Cologne. There is some facets about Aude Lemon Mint that reminds me of this one, and primarily it's going to be the lemon and the almond combination, and that's what this one is famous for too. Now again, it's not a one-to-one. -one. This is not a clone, or this is not a clone, whichever one came first not clones of each other, and they still do go in different directions for sure, but the creamy almond lemon combination and Aude Lemon Mint 
does kind of tie me back to IDL Cologne a little bit. Now, of course, the Guerlain is missing a lot of the heavier, darker notes that uh, A Lemon Mint has, but I did find there to be just somewhat of a similarity, and I thought that was kind of neat. Of course, the Guerlain is discontinued. It is getting harder to find, and the prices are going up on that one, which is unfortunate. Now, let's go ahead and talk about performance on this one. This is a strong, strong fragrance, just like most, if not basically all Manceras. It's an eau de parfum, and it lasts every bit of 9, 10 hours and beyond. It can keep going after that point. Very good longevity. Projection is also very strong. Like I was talking about a second ago, if you put some heat on this one, it's going to pop off your skin and push out even more, even harder, even stronger. But if you're wearing it just indoors and you know regular controlled temperatures, it'll still project good. It will also fill up a room pretty quickly with just a couple sprays. Now this one really announces itself. It leaves a nice scent trail. So if you walk through the air, if you spray it in the air, it lingers for a long time and it just has some serious power behind this one. Again, that is what you would expect because it does have some darker notes in here. You pick up on some of that oud. The creamy almond is coming through, giving it a bit of a somewhat sweetness, a bit of a powdery kick as well. And there's also like amber and vanilla buried in the base and those don't really come out too strong in the dry down. There is some sweetness and that is where it would be coming from, but all of those heavier base notes really help to give this one some strength, um, especially in longevity uh, performance. You know, a lot of that projection is that lemon, is that orange, and a nice almond as well. Again, I wanna make it clear that this is not going to be your average summer fragrance. That's all about citrus, musk, woods, and freshness, right? There is some sweetness, there is some depth, and that is something you have to be aware of here. I do think this one would be good for an evening. It would be good for um, maybe a date if you wanted to and if your significant other likes it, or it could also be used in the daytime because it does have some of that vibrance. In terms of compliments, so this one's gonna be a good compliment getter for you, and I think that may be one of the reasons why this one does get talked up. Uh, my girlfriend really likes this one a lot. Um, she saw the bottle, she immediately recognized that it was a Mancera. She smelled it and she loved it. It's one that I think she would wanna wear also. It is a unisex fragrance and it can be pulled off by anyone. So do keep in mind that there's not really a masculine touch about this one, but at the same time, there's not really a feminine quality about this one either. It's just kind of right in the middle. If you like the smell of it, you can wear it. Doesn't matter. And that's gonna go with all Manceras. I do believe they all are listed as unisex. And for the most part, niche fragrances in general are marketed as unisex. What's interesting about this one too is that it could be used as a signature scent. You could wear it in fall and winter time. You could wear it in spring and summertime. And really it's gonna work for a lot of different situations. If you wanted to go with you know, a Mancera, a niche product, and you wanted to go with something that's not Cedrat Boise, which is very popular and easily the most hyped, you could go with this one. You could wear it as a signature scent all year round and it's gonna work. One thing I also wanna show you is this one does come with a magnetic cap and also the atomizer is awesome. Nice pressurized atomizer. It puts out a ton of fragrance. Such a nice mist and man, that smells so good in the opening. Smells so good in the air. Nice creamy lemon, orange, almond combination with a touch of oud in here. This one is a breathtaking, stunning fragrance. Really well done. Quality is top notch. It's smooth from opening to dry down. Uh, there's nothing about this one that's unnatural or synthetic and there's nothing that clashes together. All of the notes do work together well and they are very well blended here. Really from Mancera, this is about what you would expect. It's a very good quality product and it's also not that expensive either. For a niche product under 200 bucks, especially with my code CHAOS10 for 10% off at Twisted Lily, you can get this one without breaking the bank. A lot of niche fragrances are going well over 250, 300 plus dollars. So the fact that you can get this one under 200, have beast mode performance and pretty nice presentation, that makes this one worth a pickup for the warmer months coming up. Again, if you get some heat on this one, it really does shine and open up and develop and smell beautiful, especially here in the springtime. So if you guys have tried Aude Lemon Mint, let me know what you think of it down below. Do you like it? Do you not like it? Do you own a bottle? Do you not own a bottle but want to? Make sure you let me know down below. And do remember, if you want to grab a bottle for yourself, I will link it down below to Twist a Lily. And don't forget to use my code CHAOS10 to get 10% off this or any other product site-wide. That code is always active. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you tomorrow with another one. Take care.